hello, my name is Mersha and today we're at the Copy90 studio once again. And today we are with Vuj. I'm going to ask him what's his ideal 11 aside Euro team. My guy. So, That's that, sick still. Are you practicing? Me, obviously. Come uh, on. <laughs> Do you reckon you'll be a good manager? No. I think I'd be rubbish. I think the reason I'd be rubbish is I'm too emotional. So if someone's messing up on the pitch, I'd chuck a boo at him. I would, def I would end up definitely either with broken bones myself or murdering someone. <laughs> but I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be in prison. Yeah, it's so true. I think that. I'd be an awful manager. What formation are you choosing? 414. Nah, 433, 433. You're going 433, yeah? Yeah, that's the sweatiest formation ever. Yeah, alright, let's do 433. I'm on that. Yeah, 442 is a bit too conservative. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. moving like Roy Hodgson. So, starting in goal, who would you have? Are you. Realistically, it's either De Gea or Noya. Yeah. Uh, for me, Noya would go. Nah, what about your centre back? Centre backs for me, Boateng, 100%. I mean, the brilliant, brilliant centre back uh, for Germany. And Sergio Ramos, even though he can be a liability and get them yellow cards, red cards, I'm going to go Ramos because that is just looking so strong already. No one's getting past them. No one, no, no. What about your left back? I like Patrice Evra, man. I'm yeah, Evra, Evra. I don't know if, if he'd make it, if he's still at that level. However, I've always been a fan of Patrice Evra. He's going to the Euros. I don't care if he starts or he doesn't. I'm going to go Patrice Evra, left back. Now, right back, this one may be a bit more controversial. But I've watched him at Liverpool this season and he's been really good. Oh. I'm going to find your client. He's yeah. almost like an Evra, but right back. Midfield, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going De Bruyne, um, yeah, Pogba, uh, Reason. All right, so the top three. So many. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has to be there. Um, if I don't personally like him or how he plays football, Sean Ronaldo. Bale. Bale. Mm, Bale. Bale. Yeah, Bale. Yeah, Bale. Yeah, we watched him at the Champions League final. He's incredible. He is incredible. He drops the shoulder and he's gone. There's, just no, there's no catching him. And now it's a striker. This one I think is difficult because. Who we go for the golden oldie, Zlatan, mm. and his mate that, oh no, you have to. Mm. There's not a good connection between Zlatan. Um, That's the only thing I'm thinking, yeah. they're too individualistic there. I might even be cheeky, it's like Harry Kane would be well there. Yeah, those Harry two Kane. behind him, Harry Kane, great finisher, great season in the Prem for Tottenham. So, I'm going to go Harry Kane up top. Yeah, Harry Kane. That's your ideal 11 aside. That's my ideal 11 aside for the Euros this, this year. And yeah, um, you could have done better because if you put more English players, but we let you go. Right, so yeah, we're out of here. Uh. Well, I've been David Vianic, and guys, please do support Football Beyond Borders. They're an amazing organisation. Check out their Euro 2016 guide and the sweepstake they've got going on. Do join that. And if you're donating, don't stop. Carry on donating. Exactly. If you've got peas, come on, bro. Yeah, come on. Stop being stingy. Just go on the Your website. Your coffee costs £3. Yeah. If you're in shortage, it costs £7. Yeah, fish and chips, £5.50. Come on now. Too much, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, too so much. Come on, donate a little bit.